All right, hello everybody in YouTube hello. land and bam, Instagram land just came on too. Welcome to uh, Sunday Tea Book, episode 30, 30, episode 30. Holy crow, we are cruising through this book. We are having a great time. I see Reiner is already here on YouTube. Bruna, mm -hmm. hello, JS. Welcome to uh, welcome to Sunday Tea Book, episode 30. Welcome Instagram folks. Hey, Serbka, go to ye. Good evening. good evening. Yes, good evening. I guess you're over on the sort of European continent area. We're in the afternoon here in mm. North America. Uh, Reiner says that he is at a best friend's birthday, has been served hojicha. So everyone oh, else, cool. let us know what you're drinking. Reiner's having hojicha. We'll let you know what we're drinking in a couple seconds. Yeah. But he, yeah, and we'll give a shout out to Natalie for sure. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Natalie. Let's sing her a quick one. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. I Happy hope you've got tea for your birthday, you too. I don't know. I made. I changed the ending on her. Good. Sorry about that. <laughs> Happy good. birthday, Natalie. I hope you have a great one. I hope you have lots of great tea all year long for your 2021 year. I realize it says uh, episode 30 is such an accomplishment. Yes, thank mm. you, JS. We're like still like, <laughs> what? Is Can't believe on. that ourselves. Yeah, we're really stoked. Cindy, welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. Igor, welcome. I hope you guys all mm. got to hear the happy birthday. We just sang Reiner's friend happy birthday. So Or anybody has a birthday. And if anybody else has your birthday, you can borrow that too. Okay? Um, but Natalie, that was definitely for you. Okay, and um, you know, because Reiner asked us to do that. Bam. Oh, I'm shaking the table too much. We got a new setup. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> So, um, and we got the, the background from that. It's super hard to be like the camera testing color purple to white, so it's mm. easier. Yeah, hope so hopefully like the clean. color balance will be better. And it's all about the liquor color here, it's all in the leaf color, of course. I know right. scarf today, I kind of like that. Yeah, I, I was gonna keep the scarf thing up for a while, but uh, he was going to borrow my scarf. Yeah, I was gonna dip into her collection. All right, so, mind. um, hey, witchy wood, no, witchy wool. Witchy Wool on Instagram, welcome to the stream. You are, we are doing Sunday Tea Book episode 30. Let's talk about what's in your and hand. I want to get on to brewing. So today we're going to brew up some Da Ye Qing. It's a kind of a mm. yellow tea. I'll show you um, guys on the uh, YouTube what we're brewing. A little roll, complete with some music. Okay, okay. <laughs> show the Instagram people. They can Instagram people flee yeah. over to YouTube. We've got a way better production. Right, there. and I haven't seen that because uh, Oops, oh, always lose second. a couple every, leaves. Leaf, every time I lose a little bit of leaves, I'm just a little bit mesmerized by your video. Yeah, so uh, I'm just showing the mobile site while I show off the leaf on the YouTube side, a bit of the uh, different size variety we have on the mobile, super easy to collect. I highlighted this one has a butter cookie sweetness, which I'm super eager to dive back into. Mm. You can see on the YouTube side too, the leaf is super lustrous. You can even see the fuzz. I, when I was making this, I was my mouth was watering. I was so eager to get into this tea from Guangdong province, um, as I showed there. And yeah, just uh, so all that info is on the website. The tea is on the website, and uh, it's going to be in my tummy pretty soon. So woohoo! I'm stoked. All right. Mm. Cindy says she's been drinking a Kenyan oolong this morning during church, but now oh, switching cool. to her diet sings sample to sip along with us awesome oh, that's cool. that is so cool that you got a sample of diet sing. perfect timing on that all right so what is sunday tea book let's get into the meat and potatoes of sunday tea book so that we can then get on with you know what we do before we dive into the book right we do a little sunday tea trivia it's not it's some it's just tea <laughs> trivia but it's sunday today so today it could be sunday tea trivia but we're gonna so what is sunday tea book this is a great idea that you guys gave us uh, 30 episodes ago, um, where we take a book, an article, or a paper that is full of really great information, but is either not available in English or the translation is sketchy at best. And we go over it together with you guys um, to kind of decode what's in it and explain, um, explain it. And why is that awesome is because as I've been working with Jen over the last five, six years, um, a lot of the confusion, it becomes apparent because it goes deeper than just, oh, the word wasn't translated right. No, it's more like the whole way that the, there's cultural implications, there are word implications, there are the way words are used. There's, like any technical field, uh, 
There's even the certain use of words, even in Chinese, are unique to tea. So we get to share this with you. You guys get to help us. We really appreciate the help when we get stuck picking a word or how should we translate this? You know, it's back and forth. Mm. So it's way more insightful than just reading straight up good information with it. There's nothing wrong with straight up good information. There's, but it's even more interesting to dive under, go sort of behind the curtain and see why the confusion exists. It gives you the power to detect future confusion. Even if you're not sure, you might have a little red bell going off in the future. So it's super fun. And Cindy's stoked for tea trivia, so am I. That's, but we, not yet, hold off. <laughs> <laughs> so the book we have been working on is called China mm. Tea, written by my mom, Jian Li Wu. So uh, the great thing about this tea is uh, it really touches on almost every... This book. Oh yeah, what did I say? Tea. Oh, sorry. Because you're excited about the Dalia Because Ching there's a, a huge tea right. character, so I just got... Okay, this book, not a tea, <laughs> is it touches on almost every aspect of a Chinese tea from the Chinese perspective, mm -hmm. giving you a little bit uh, background on how we come to understand today's tea and uh, mm -hmm. in the process of doing this live translation together, it really helped us, uh, uh, how should I say, clear up a lot of confusions mm -hmm. and a lot of unknown confusions. Uh, right. Sometimes we all think Those are the I, I worst explain kind. well or you think mm. you really uh, know this tea well, but uh, once we dive into details and see the process, like you mentioned, we realize, oh, there was a misunderstanding. Yeah. Oh, there is something yeah. I missed out. Absolutely. So that's very um, beneficial for both of us, I think. Oh yeah, for everybody. It's been super, super rewarding to go through this. The amount I've learned has been great. Um, you know, shoot us out a comment if you find this good. And if you've learned a lot, that's great. Give us a thumb up or something. You want to switch to Brookham so that... Uh... Yeah, let's show off some of the tea. There we go. So I'm just going to sign off with the Instagram folks, guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, we're going to get into some tea trivia mm -hmm. um, just before we kick off the whole thing. But this all happens on YouTube because Instagram is just not able to do that. So I'm going to reach in. I'm going to grab you. Uh, and I'm going <laughs> to... We're going to say bye bye. So jump over to YouTube. You're going to have the tea trivia there. We're going to have bring the book right up on the screen. Right. So how we do it. I'll just uh, explain that to everybody. Right. The, the next thing is how we do tea trivia is we bring the book up on the screen and um, we go through it. Um, I read what's there and then I give my perception of it. The tr this book is actually translated into both English and Chinese. And then Jen will let me know if something was completely missed because that happens sometimes or clear up any confusion. So we'll see you on the, uh, see you on the YouTube side. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. And we will dive in. I just think that this might be handy for those of you who are following along with the tea brewing mm, or stuff that right. you want to look at a little bit with timing or anything oh, as usual. Nice I like to. Uh, I had to just pick a nice thumbnail. Little praying hands oh, and a big cool, smile. Cool. Oh, no title. Okay. Mm. I think I've complained about this before, but I'm going to complain about it again. Every week I put the title into the Instagram right up it's front. It's always lost. Though. And it's not here and I got to do it, you know, on screen. I don't like to do that, but uh, I like to post it right away so that if people are on Instagram, they can jump over mm -hmm. and they don't miss the whole episode. So apologies for my uh, phone stuff. Well, I, I always know. love the face when the guy one is warmed and smell mm. the guy one lid. And even during the process of tea brewing, like mm. enjoying the tea, I always mm. like to smell that. And it's a uh, yellow tea sweetness. Yeah, yeah. It's I a, think that's what I was talking about, right? That yellow tea sweet, mm. which I kind of sometimes it reminds me of butter cookies. Let's get in real close for this one here. Oh boy, for the pour. Here's the pour. Oh yeah. I'll do a quick rinse. Quick rinse. Nice. Oh boy. So let's see. I'm just going to check out some comments. Everybody's jazzed about tea trivia. So I'm going with the guys for the tea trivia. I'm going with the same format as last week, a sort of a fancier one, mm -hmm. but I did stretch it out a little bit. There was a lot of comments about going up to a minute. Um, some people said, leave it at 30 seconds. I went right down the middle with 45. We'll see how that goes. I got 45 on the question side, 45 on the answer side. So I think that'll keep things rolling nicely. 
enjoying the aroma of daya ting leaves in my warm pot. Really nice. Yeah, Cindy mm. was doing that along with us. It is a really nice habit to just warm up the gaiwan. Uh, it also gives it a little rinse if it's, uh, hopefully it's not dusty, but in case it is, it'll get take care of any of that. And then it gives the leaf a chance to really, the dry leaf just gives off more. Mm -hmm. You and your thumbnails, haha. Oh, right, because I was picking the, <laughs> I was picking the Instagram thumbnail. I found one where I did this and she had a big smile. It's usually with Instagram, I gotta be real quick. So sometimes they're super goofy. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Are you guys ready for... Uh... I think they're ready for some tea trivia. I'm just going to see if I can... Uh... So I got to see if I can do this. So let's head over here. It's going to look a little chunky again. I'm going to see if... I'm going to hit start on this first. Then go back here. Then head over here. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry, guys. That's the wrong one. Uh, I got to be a little bit quick here. <laughs> Tea trivia time is actually here. New tea trivia. Does it okay, work? 17, 16, here we go. Now I've got to do a little bit of timing. Right now I've got to hit this. <laughs> trivia time! <laughs> Woo, yeah! Time for some tea trivia, folks. In three, two, two one, one, here we go. Yellow tea is closest to which other tea process? Is it one, oolong tea, two, green tea, three, dark tea, or four, white tea? So uh, safest to, uh, I think you can just throw up the number. We saw lots of people just throwing in the number last week. That worked fine. Um, you could also put the uh, text too, but sometimes the text is long. So the number seems to work fine. And uh, yes, yellow tea is closest to which other process? Holy ignorance hidden in plain sight. Here we go. <laughs> and your thumbnails nice so uh, here come the answers you're gonna have a bit of time uh, even though the timer will wind down you can answer during the next phase as well so you don't need to panic Russian an answer but Igor has come in with the answer two we've got time signature MMA coming in with two and the computer is just brewing your answers now as you can see hmm? Change nice that out a little bit. customize that for the T channel a little bit so Bruna, Bruno, I don't, did I say hello to Bruna? I hope I said hello to Bruna if I didn't. Bruna, hello. JS goes two. Cindy goes with four. White T, Fernanda two. Berang Hakami, welcome first. Berang. And good guess at three. And here oh, is the answer. He so meant two. How do you, how does that work with a change answer? I don't know. I don't know. Don't worry. I should mention we're just here to have fun, so don't worry too much. We're going to have the next infusion in five seconds, but a bunch of you answered green tea and indeed yellow tea, and we're going to learn about that today. I won't get into too much details. We're going to talk all about that as we introduce yellow tea today. All right. <laughs> the next question, Daya Ting is which type of yellow tea? Is it one, Huang Da Cha, two, a Bu Hao Cha, three, a Huang Xiao Cha, or four, a Huang Ya Cha? Do you like number two? Whoa. A bu hao cha. <laughs> That's a typical your style. Man. Typical my style. I'm just gonna, just gonna see if this. You, sorry guys. There we go. Brought that back right away. Whew, what that was scary. To do? Uh, see if the, I have the background labeled here. So, uh, uh. but I think I might have mislabeled. I did mislabel the background. Whoops. <laughs> to see if it's black. So here we go. Daya Ching is which type of yellow tea? It's brewing up your answer. Cindy has come in with, uh, oh yeah. So you can always answer during this phase. So in the future, you don't need to rush uh, uh, a Bahrang. And Cindy's come in with answer one, Huang Da Cha. JS has come in with a four, Huang Ya Cha. Igor, four, also Huang Ya Cha. JS is coming with one. Uh, do I see an answer for, nobody's, I didn't get anybody with two. Oh, I think, and the answer is indeed Huang Da Cha. So Da Ya Ching is a kind of uh, uh, big yellow tea, let's say. Huang Da is big, and we'll talk yellow about- Yellow big tea. Yeah, yellow big tea. <laughs> and we'll talk more about that. I got a few of them with Huang Ya Cha, which is a fairly popular type of, uh, another popular type of yellow tea. All righty, next question. The first recorded cultivar, excuse me, zigzag. The first recorded cultivated tea garden is located here. Is it one, Junshan, two, Mengdingshan, 
three, Huo Shan, or four, Wu Yi Shan. So the first historically recorded tea garden. Where is it? I think this paste is better. Oh boy, that's really yummy. I was talking so much and not taking a drink. I was drying out. I'm sort of adapting FYI, to the new. He has been talking at that speed for 15, 20 minutes before the <laughs> live That's testing right. drive. I got to warm up, right? So it's, oh, well, let's see what the answers are coming. Ah. Didn't take my changed answer. Sad days. Oh, oh. time signature. Ah, so Huang equals yellow. Yes, That's Huang right. does equal yellow. Da equals big and Cha equals tea. Mm. Cindy's coming in with Wu Shan. Number four. Mm. I put some goofy answers in the next. You put you put questions. a lot of uh, tricky ones. Ooh! Oh, time has what? run out, and the answer is uh, Meng Bingshan. And if you, we have a great video on this. If you want to check it out, we actually went to that garden. There's some lions guarding these seven tea bushes. It's really beautiful, really peaceful. <laughs> Big lions, by the way. Oh, the yeah. way you said it, it make me feel like no, this. Don't tell them, then they're going to go and see the lions. Oh. All right, guys, next question. <laughs> That's okay, they'll probably still go. <laughs> How many yellow tea types are there? Are there one, five yellow tea types, three yellow tea types, two yellow tea types, or is there just one? Hmm. Mm. Who knows? Time signature says, holy language acquisition. I speak Chinese now. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. what he feels That's too. That's what I feel too. I, between the tea names, and we cook together a lot, so I know a lot of veggie names and even meat. I know my meats, my basic meat, you know, yes. pig, cow, lamb. Yes. I fooled everyone on the last one. That's right. Um, no one used Google. <laughs> Cindy's concerned about the fairness level. Also, it's good that nobody's using Google. Yellow tea always have that gentle sweetness, huh? I really love that. It mm. really does have that kind of, um, like a pastry level of sweetness. Like it's mm. not booming sweet. Yeah. So the answers are rolling in. We've got some people guessing um, number two, which is three, and number four, which is one. Ooh, that's so zigzag. Um, time signature guess that there's Whoa. five kinds of yellow tea. Let's see, I see a number of answers for three and four. And the correct answer is there are three types of yellow tea. And I won't say anything more about that because in 10 seconds, we will address it. I really do love that sweetness. And uh, when I was videoing the tea as well, I was really uh, impressed with the luster of the dry leaf, which we cannot show you now because we wet the leaf. <laughs> All right, so the subsequent oh. follow-up question is the three types of yellow tea are, is it one? Huang Ya Cha, Huang Ye Cha, Huang Shu Cha. Two, bright yellow, dull yellow, and orange yellow. Three, Huang Xiao Cha, Huang Da Cha, Huang Ya Cha. Or four, Huang Xiao Cha, Huang Xiang Cha, and Huang Su Cha. And yes, it's a bit of a language thing today. So sorry about that. I was just, uh, it's just where this the, uh, really hard it's this. where the muses took me. This is a bit of a tricky one, but not to worry. I kind of made this one more about today just for fun. Mm. It's, we're going to get into all of this and it's going to be really fun to kind of uncover. Well, I'm really proud of you because yesterday he said, uh, do you have any questions for tea trivia? I was like, uh, Flatline. Yeah. <laughs> so Nothing. it's really hard, the yellow tea. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, looks like they're a lot. And guys, yes, take a guess. It doesn't hurt. Just throw a number out. It's see just what for happens. fun. There's a no We're just warming up. There's, yeah. We don't kick you off the stream if you score too low. Um, not, none of that's going to happen. Okay, we're just having fun, warm up, um, sip our tea, talk about it. Lots of answers. Ooh. A lot of folks got this. Way to Most go, guys. Way to go. Uh, number three is the right answer. We're going to talk a little bit about each of those as we warm into yellow tea. Wow, great work, guys. Mm. Woo! Have that... Oh, and you should have that sound effect ready for this time. Oh, I should. I'll do that next time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can't do it because it's embedded in the song. So oh. here's the results, guys. Fernanda, great work with four Whoa. correct answers. Bruna with three, and Cindy comes in with three correct answers. Uh, it looks like Barang also had three, but for whatever but, reason, didn't get the leaderboard. And also, if he corrects uh, one of the answers, he mm, actually... Very good work, guys. Really fun. Always super fun to uh, embark in tea trivia 
and warm up to it's a nice our session. Do you guys ahead. like the speed? I feel like that's pretty good yes. speed now. Yes. Let me know. Do you like the trivia? Do you? Uh, I think everybody likes the trivia, but you know, if you hate it, you can say that. Um, I want to say something else too about feedback. If it's okay with you guys, I showed uh, with when I show the tea. I sometimes show it on our website just to kind of show how the website works. To this today, as you notice, I showed a mobile sort of version with the tea on the side, mm -hmm. just for some fun. And uh, I was gonna ask them uh, if you guys do see anything um, that you think would be cool on the website or whatever. You can always throw that out too. I don't know, like on our Discord, I guess. Let me flip over to that. Um, talk about that. So down below is a link to our Discord channel. That's probably a good, in the general chat, you could mm -hmm. say, hey, uh, it would be cool if you had XYZ. We try to make the website super easy for you guys to use. If you have any comments, always love to hear those. Mm -hmm. Always love to hear how you like the trivia. Did you like the speed? I think that's more salient. I think it was a little more sane, right? Yes. Last week it was so, I was, like a... I was sweating when it was over. <laughs> yeah, it has that competition feeling. No oh. matter how we try to say, hey, it doesn't matter. Just the speed is boom, boom, boom. It's just like, like cracking the whip. Yeah. Oh, JS is keeping track of the trivia questions. We have just passed over trivia question number 73. Yeah. Is that and, enough? Uh, Could you go back to the last slide for one moment? Which one is that? I guess it's a tea trivia one. Did you guys want to see the tea trivia, the uh, end of tea trivia? Because unfortunately, I cannot go back to that. Oh right, because we use another. Yeah, app. it's I uh, actually I I closed that app and uh, mm. talk to me later on the Discord. Okay, we'll see what we can do. I know what I think I know what you're looking for, but let's have a chat about that. Okay, JS, because I can't. If you're looking for the the sort of leaderboard at the end, I can't go back because I closed the app. Anyway, so so that's all good. We'll take care of that later. Fernanda rules once again. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Nobody is kicked off for wrong answers. Yes, everybody. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay. And good. Good. Perfect speed for Igor. That's great. That's good, I, I liked it too. I felt like Me it too. moves along pretty good. Yes. But it's not um, lagging. It's also not... I'm not sweating bullets. I'm just. Can we do images? Like, uh, does the new app allow us to do images? Because the last time. Yes, I think so. Fun. Anyway, I, I won't bother you. No, with we that. can talk about that. I can do. I think I can do anything. <laughs> That's just how I roll. I have that attitude about things. I just feel like I can do anything. Um, but yes, I think we can do images. Like, you just have to do a little extra work. Mm -hmm. But before we jump into images, I think we're going to jump over. To the Sunday Tea Book and episode 30, The Meat and Potatoes. It smells, it smells really good. All right, have a little smell. Let me have a smell before we dive in. So, oh yeah, this is really nice. Mm. I want to go back here so we can have the transition and I can do the sound effect. Oh, okay. That's so, uh, that's it's really important. nice. I wanted, really and I wanted important. to give the tea a little bit of time. I don't want to rush the tea. Because we're here to talk about yellow tea. It's the opening day of yellow tea in the in the China tea book that we're doing. Mm -hmm. That we've been reading. Cindy agrees. I can do anything. Time signature MMA. Holy omnipotence. Mm. Thank you, time signature. Time signature MMA. Mm. That's such an interesting handle. It sounds mu musical and mixed martial arts all at the same time. Mm. I wonder if it's a if it's an odd time signature like uh, like seven eight or uh, thirteen sixteen or something like that or is it or do you more of a four four guy? It's just a question for time signature. Uh, nobody else. Reminds me of the song Go Fu Fighting. <laughs> mm. It got both. <laughs> Cindy agrees about the pastry and the dry leaf, right? It's it's something I don't even know how to describe it. It's mm. unique. It's a gentle sweetness. And... Not a fruity, not a very floral. So, okay, okay. No, no yeah. hurry. No hurry. <laughs> not fruity, not floral. I want to spend a moment. That's why I came back with uh, this fruit. That's why I asked you to smell that. You mm. describe that better than me. I can't say it's not fruity. It's got a hint of both fruit and floral in a... In a the combination is a very unique. It becomes its own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, you can do your transition. Come on, come on, get go. that over. Here we go. We got to do it right now. All right, guys. China tea. Here we go. 
Episode 30, guys, we made it through the origins of tea, all of this section. Um, down here we see, oh, sorry about the scrolling, part two. We talked about tea in three steps. Oh yeah, we're showing them how much we've, this is the finished piece over here, right? Yeah, this, this is giant finished. one. This is finished and this is Not much left, left okay, over. six more episodes after today. We made it through uh, all kinds of stuff about the basics of tea, the basics of tea sets and water. Um, and now we're in the section where we're talking about the tea types. We started with green tea, then we went through some dark teas, oolong teas, black tea just finished up last week with these guys here. And today we're going to be diving into, literally diving into yellow tea. Mm. Okay, not literally, that would be, I would need a big bucket of yellow tea to dive into it. All right, Huang Cha, since we did such an intense lesson today, there's the characters, Huang Cha. I suppose, I don't actually know, I'm just in deducing the Very best smart, time. very smart. All right, let me move, let me move our little, our little selves to the, uh, maybe up here. That's better. I think that's going to be a better spot for us. And let us dive into yellow tea. The production of yellow tea belongs to the accidentally acquired by the procedure of stir fixation. People found that if the tea should be dried up adequately or not in time after fixation and rolling process, leaf color turns yellow. Then create a new category, yellow tea. Yellow tea's quality is characterized by yellow leaves and yellow soup. Sip and your mouth will full of fragrance. I'm gonna keep going. First sight. There are three main types according to the freshness and size of bud leaf, which are yellow bud tea, yellow small tea, and yellow big tea. Remember that from tea trivia? Hunan is the main production area and Junshan of Yuyang and Weishan of Ningxiang are the main hometowns. And there is a saying that yellow tea is produced from two mountains of Xiao and Yang. Yellow tea in the market is extremely expensive and the price gets 1,000 yuan a kilo frequently. All right, let's back up a bit and let us unpack. So the first paragraph talks about uh, the production of yellow tea belongs to the accidentally acquired by stir fixation. So. Okay, in general, the first paragraph, I think you guys probably kind of got the vibe that it was an accidentally, I got the vibe that it is an accidentally discovered mm -hmm. tea process, um, something to do with stir fixation. So from my experience, stir fixation just means kill green by pan firing, mm -hmm. like because they do ch -ch -ch with their hand. Um, we got some really cool videos actually in Mengding. I think we captured the Mung, in Mengding of them doing some pan yeah, frying. Yeah, we, we actually, there's a video mm. uh, showing how to do Mengding Huang Ya. Mm. Mm. Right, which is, uh, well, hold, we'll just wait, we'll wait. So yeah, I'll put the link to that down below. Um, that's kind of a good one to, to link down below. It's mm -hmm. not there yet, but it will be later. Mengding vid. So the, this, but it was pretty shaky. I just wanted to say that we, I got the idea that, okay, this was found by accident. It's mm -hmm. related to pan frying, the, the um, kill green during pan fry, and boom, a new tea category was created. But it felt a little bit like, mm. like a little bit, and there's some rolling I, mentioned here. Yeah, I like a, I don't understand that in English. This sentence, uh, it feels mm. really like I, it's awkward. I don't understand. Yeah, it's really like, awkward. But you probably know. So this what is a great say. time to mention to you guys that also down below in the description is the right. link to the finished translation. I mm. think if you want to follow along with that, it's really handy because in, in instances where we need to keep the pinyin and the Chinese characters where that terminology just works better, we keep it there so you can see the pinyin, which help you understand how to pronounce it. And um um I think stir fixation is an example of that. I'm not sure, but go ahead and pull that up if you want to follow along. And you'll also have the clear finished translation right there for you. And it's always there on the website as an ongoing resource. You can always, this is a great, I can't overemphasize how great this book is to come back to as a resource. Uh, it's kind of like a manual of Chinese tea. Mm. So now that's on our Absolutely. website forever for you guys. Yes, I think I would like to explain that a little bit since I don't know what 
this English sentence literally means. So I'd better just what I was getting at. Yeah, I think <laughs> explain we what this is happening. Is basically uh, like you mentioned in the first sentence, it was discovered by accident. What happened is people notice like when doing uh, green tea, uh, there are several steps, right? Uh, like uh, uh, kill grain, right? Here you translate it as uh, stir fixation, but kill grain. Uh, insufficient kill grain or mm. insufficient drying or kill grain or drying timing is off oh okay okay there are this one yeah it could really? be any combination you know like sure. four elements kill grain uh, right right uh, kill grain and dry it and the other side is uh, timing or uh, the degree of doing that. Right. So this uh, four elements mismatch, uh, mix and match could result in the yellower leaf. Right. Which uh, was the, the birth story of yellow tea. Right. So it basically a, it was a failed green tea, but start mm. somebody found something interesting and start to maybe push it in that direction on purpose, see what they could do. Yes. So in so, general though, if you wanted to take out a, a, take out a layer of detail, you could just say an error in, in green, an error in green tea processing that resulted in a yellower leaf and a yellower. Perfect. Liquor, I right? think, yes, right. I think that's the best way to right. uh, understand it. Cause uh, sometimes I notice the more detail to give uh, become more, com the more confusing, confusing mm. it is because I, I bet lots of people, if you read this, you might think nowadays when they do uh, yellow tea, it's how they do is uh, uh, say less kill grain or less stuff. Mm. But it's not quite like that. This yeah. is just the origin story, right. you know, but now it has a totally separated and process has been transformed mm -hmm. and now they have their own step, which we will talk right. about. I want to talk about something about that, because if you look at the charts that show the processes, the process steps, right? Mm. So um, green tea is sort of like a kill green. Uh, anyway, the, let's say it's three steps, one, two and three. And often you know, if you look at yellow tea, it'll be one um and then they'll insert one yellowing and then three and four are the same as two and three for green tea mm. that led me to a and i think a lot of people suffer from this so i wanted to just talk about it so you might think oh i'm making a, a green if i get down if the same if the first three steps let's say are the same and only step four is different then i have a choice when i get there i'm an engineer so i just feel that way mm. you can always just say oh i'm going to make a a yellow or a green tea and I'll decide when I get to the yellowing step what to do that's false too like I think that's why we can step away from the details of processing because as tasters and you know people who just love tea it does add confusion and it also lead to some so easily it easily leads to some wrong con assumptions it, it did for me anyway so I just want because to of the, the level yeah because mm. you don't need like the yes like how the kill green is done matters how each step is and done. also mm. the key thing is uh, it's not uh, the tea culture the whole tea thing is developed developed in people first then there's uh, right. schoolers there's right. uh, the so thing true. to categorize then to organize their job is mostly organized not developing Right, when talking right. about those things. So it's not uh, in labs, we realize that when tea right. oxidizes in this level, point. 20, 40, 60, 90, that's a six, uh, four, five. <laughs> I don't know how many I said, right. but those are categories. It yes. is from the uh, life, they yes. categorize them. That's, that's a why, great point. So when hearing that, oh, slightly oxidized, partially oxidized, it's really talking about two things. It's mm -hmm. uh, like the lab, language vis-a-vis -vis what's happening in the real world yeah like uh, you ask a, a farmer what are you trying to shoot they know how to make right. but in terms of a percentage they give you a ballpark based on their sure. thinking but it doesn't mean mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. right, right right it's i think what as you were talking about that it made me think of the computer or the house right those things are designed and then they're implemented mm. that does that's not how it works with tea tea mm. is made and then other people figure out, oh, that's really good. What'd you do, right? Yeah. It's kind of uh, like a do thing. Uh, it's a craft. Mm. Yeah. Okay, cool. So next para, first sight. 
Okay, so this one I've already read. So mm -hmm. we so we we saw the three types during um, the three main types during the tea trivia, mm -hmm. and they're translated here into uh, yellow bud. Uh, so Huang, Huang Ya Cha, Huang ya cha mm -hmm. which again, if you're following along in the Finnish translation, that's available in the link down below. Yes, um, we've got that there. Huang Ya Cha. Um, Huang Xiao Cha, yeah, yellow Huang small Xiao tea, mm -hmm. and uh, yellow big tea, Huang Da Cha, which uh, the tea we're drinking it fits yes. into that category. Mm. Um, so that that wasn't so bad. I just wanted to comment that the translated names are they're not bad. Um, right, but I'm not very keen on the word of freshness because make freshness feels like uh, the opposite oh, yes. of a stale. Very or it, something. It straight up means that. Right, okay. Um, and I think they're more trying to say the uh, maturity of the plot. Yes. Right? Is it pure bud? Is it bud and leaf? Is yes. It, right? Yes. So... Let me, let me put an x-ray through that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about the... like the parts of the plant that are more close to the... imagine the buds on the top and right. leaves and roots like from top to bottom so it's a... Uh, based on which part of the plant right. is plucked, so the is tenderness. it closer to a shoot, right? Yes, right, no. right. So that's freshness was definitely misleading there, mm. and um, they talk about the sort of the hometown or the home province. Hunan is the main production area, mm -hmm. with two areas, Junshan and Weishan. I didn't mm -hmm. catch. I think this is just geography, right? Junshan yeah. is in Yu Yu Yang. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And Weishan is in Ningxiang. Ningxiang, which is maybe like a county or an area. Yes. Okay, so that all worked fine. I think the mm -hmm. rest was pretty um, bang on, except the saying was a little bit... The saying wasn't... Uh, I'm not sure it's really a saying. Uh, the saying is... A, uh, the original saying is Xiao Xiang Huang Cha Shu Liang Shan means if you talk about the Hunan, Hunan's nickname, Xiao Xiang, uh, oh. Hunan, uh, yellow tea, you will be talk about uh, uh, Liang Shan means uh, Jun Shan and uh, Wei Shan we just mentioned in the previous right, right. sentence. And I guess those are the nicknames for those two. Uh, I don't know what to, I don't know what that is. I okay. think she she uh, doesn't know the Xiao Xiang means Hunan. Anyways, ah, that's why the I Xiao see. become not translated. Anyways, uh, so what is just to point out it's like uh, Quebec. Uh, maple syrup to Canada kind of thing sure if you right that, it's just a really that flavor. that's the area for that yeah. it's their claim to fame or whatever okay okay mm. so um good because I as sayings go we've seen sayings in the book before and it didn't have the same feeling yeah it was kind of lost and I think it was the Xiao and Yang come out of nowhere which was just a miss a sort of a misstep right okay and then yellow tea in the market is extremely expensive price gets to 1000 yuan a kilo frequently. Half kilo. Uh, a kilo would be pretty nice. Oh, it's it's mis that's wrong here. So it's mm -hmm. a jing in the in yes, the Chinese side. It's a jing, and yes. here, so a jing is not a kilo. A jing is a half kilo. So, in fact, the price here is deflated a little bit accidentally. <laughs> yeah. So it's actually about a thousand yuan for five hundred grams. Woo! Which is like a ten, uh, what, 12, 13, 14 years ago. Right. That's my shock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, holy Nice cold. one, nice one. But again, and we've had, um, we've got some great yellow teas on the website that are very accessible. One of the reasons we, uh, we have those are because yellow tea is rare, real yellow tea is very rare. It's really more frequent that you'll see a stale green tea posing as a yellow tea. So we wanted people to be able to grab, to try out the real, and the Daya Ching, uh, Cindy, give us a thumbs up if you agree, a really great example of that that elusive sweetness that we were struggling mm. with, right? We had that, that, let me just smell it again. Uh, yeah, that sort of bridge between floral and sweet that kind of becomes its very own thing, right? Which is why it's a category, why it's not just a sort of a subset of green tea. No, it's really a different experience. Um, anyway, so we've got those there, but we've also had some, the Meng Bing Huang Yang, right? Those, mm, we those... also have the, we like to, because yellow tea is such a, a group that uh, uh, a lot of times the uh, more accessible price points are not the real one. Mostly, like mm. you mentioned, is still green tea or some uh, uh, poorly made 
T. And uh, the good ones are usually expensive. However, the price point also doesn't guarantee the quality. So every now and then we will uh, carry some uh, uh, really mm, exquisite, just a, I don't know if I put words in your mouth, but yes, exquisite, but a properly made mm. uh, yellow tea for those oh, of you oh. who uh, are interested in uh, fine yellow tea experience, which uh, personally I got uh, sometimes I will be very nervous when people buy our yellow tea, especially those uh, uh, Huang Ya Cha, like Bud's Grays, mm. uh, because they, the better the uh, yellow tea, the very similar it will be to similar to green tea. And green tea. And unless you are more advanced in the tasting game, especially knows what yellow tea, mm. the good yellow tea should taste of it. Sometimes I get nervous and, uh, because they are really similar. Right. But I, okay. I just you, when you were talking about a really exquisitely made yellow tea, remind me Even green tea, I have that feeling too. Mr. Ding, right? Yes. So we have a really cool blog post, which I'll link down below. If you are interested in this sort of level of yellow tea, mm. I remember um, 2014 when we started 15, I think even 16, maybe it was 16 we got that. Mm -hmm. But a couple of years we didn't have yellow tea because we couldn't get a really properly produced yellow tea. We're very sticky about quality. But then Jen's mom met this sort of kindred spirit, if you will. I'm going to come to the big camera just so they can see how excited I am. Okay, hang on guys, hang on. I'm just jiggling with my uh, self-produced show here. All right, so she met, I'm going to link to this blog post down below, but she met Mr. Ding and they were like, they're instant kindred spirits because they share this passion for I mean, uh, for, for great tea. So mm -hmm. it is really uh, tricky to make these high-end teas just perfect. And he had that same drive and try and try again and get that. And it's a really fascinating post. And he made the, uh, that was uh, Ho Shan Huang Ya back in the day that he was making that was so, so good. And uh, he has been, I saw time experimenting with uh, mm -hmm. uh, the yellow tea process with Ho Shan Huang Ya for years and uh, um, my mom and him actually exchanged a lot of opinions in terms of yearly improvement and this stuff. So they kind of were working together a little bit for uh, the batch that we carried back a mm. couple of years ago. Mm. Mm. Just, But it's just a lovely story that uh, I think is, and it, you know, the, it's really a pursuit of passion. So I don't know if people see these really higher price tag teas and think oh these people must drive in Maseratis and stuff it's actually just people who are crazy yeah. about making great tea it's a really interesting um art form it like or craft like it's a it's a really it's just something magical i think that comes through in that blog post a little bit so i just wanted to share that and i will mm -hmm. add the link down below after the uh after the uh live is over mm. so let's check out some comments and then we'll jump right. in back into the book so uh, we could have a pool of yellow tea because I said I was going to dive into yellow tea. Um, just, oh, let me back up a bit. Lots of comments. All right. Thanks, guys. Keep them rolling. You can do anything. Okay, remember okay. that. I totally see what you mean by pastry. Yes. Pastry. Mm. Going to have a bit of a tea break and have some egg drop soup for lunch while I listen. Cool. Oh. Time Signature does like odd time signatures like you hear in prog rock. Very cool. Talk more about Do that later. It's just short for progressive rock, also Do known as math rock. We listen to lots of it. You listen okay. by proxy. Um, egg soup, <laughs> smileys. We could have a pool of yellow tea. I was thinking of that, but I was thinking more dive into the leaf. That would be so fun. Like it would be like jumping, <laughs> like jumping in the hay. When I said it, I thought of diving into yes, a, yes. a bunch of leaf. And that want. smells so good. That would smell so good. Right? It would be great. Yes, it would be amazing. And Behrang says, I'm a bit new to the channel, but I would really like to know where I can get mm. this book in English. Thanks. That's a great question. We've been asked a bunch of times and we don't have a very satisfying answer because the be honestly, your best bet is to get it on our website. We have the finished translation posted yeah. there. Um, it's, it's going to be complete by the time we get to episode 36. Um, that is pretty satisfying. I take it back. We have, <laughs> I for, cause we don't have a paper version, which I have right. a feeling you're looking for something you can touch can and turn the pages. Page, and if you, if you, if you, I get it. If you want a real book, we totally have the same experience yeah. with books. We like to read paper books and get off the screen every now and then. But right now that's what we have. Uh, it is all there. 
uh, on the website with links to the live too. So hopefully that helps you out a bit. Cindy says, it's really interesting to me that the one step that is added to the green tea process to make yellow tea much, such a big difference. It's, mm. I didn't read what she wrote properly, but I think everybody got it. Um, it makes it taste it very different difference. in my opinion. Yes, yeah. and it is, um, at, well, and if you caught what Jen said too, uh, at this level, it can be yeah. quite a big difference. That's and then, why I really like those mm. teas. Even though they're Huang right. Da Chan, well, there's mm. a trend that, uh, oh, we have to have butter and stuff, but mm. those tea taste good. Yes, Price very accessible good. and uh, really highlights the uh, yellow The tea. yellowing, yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, I have no plan complaint to this. Tea. And I think those are a great introduction yes. if we want to advance later with more. Yeah. Yeah, and do some side by sides. Yeah. Maybe a green with one of this style of yellow, or two. Because if you drink top. this tea with a green tea, you will see there's something different. Yes. That sweetness is really yellow tea sweetness. I don't. He called that pastry, which I totally agree. That sweet. Yeah. But there's a, not quite it's a, a honey, it's a but subtle uh, sweet with some butteriness and yes, honey yes. and a little floral. Like it's a really complex thing, and take some time if you're gonna dive in and uh, and drop some dineros for a really nice. Uh, Huang Ya Cha or for a really high-end yellow tea, take some time and tune up your taste buds. Do some side-by-side -side tastings. Yeah. Mix them up a bit. Some yellow with green, some yellow with and different to, yellow. Yes, and not to mention mm. we have two Huang Da Cha which would taste wildly mm. different, so if you know, because mm. the uh, the other one is from Anhui with a signature roasting right. uh, high fire last uh, step mm -hmm. for the tea mm -hmm. even though they're the same category they can be so different yeah. so once you are getting more calibrated to the yellow tea thing it will really help with your yeah. future endeavors that's right that's right mm. and then josh says oh no i'm so late <laughs> you are okay <laughs> fernanda says just for a trivia <laughs> yeah yeah you missed the trivia so mm. that's a bummer no, I'm just teasing him. I hope people who don't know are like, what? Did, he's so mean to him. Right? Me, me and Josh joke around all the time. I think he's not weeping at his computer. I hope you're not. Uh, I think we're just having a joke. But I'm sorry you're late, but um, you can always wind back the, uh, the replay and play the trivia along. It's very regulated now. We've got a new app, so it's super fun. Um, Time Signature says, I'm a newbie in the tasting game, so you can give me steak and say that it's yellow tea and I will fall for it. Yes, but you won't fall for it for long if you try some of those side-by-side -side tastings. Mm. But I totally know what you mean. Um, I was sort of thrust into this whole thing four or five years ago. Find out I'm going to be writing descriptions of these teas on the website. Uh, check me out on Thursday. I'm going to talk all about that in my live session. I'm going to do a live, just me and you guys doing a little casual thing have some tea and talk about my experience there um i can't this remember this thursday yeah this thursday anyway i'm gonna <laughs> i got a broadcast i've been i have not been broadcasting about that properly but i did mention it last week and i am mentioning it again this week and i am gonna do it and no matter what i'm gonna do it and it's gonna be awesome and fun but yeah uh you can improve your tasting abilities it is something that can be done it is not a born talent that cannot be developed. I can tell you for sure, from my experience, you can do that. Um, Behrang says, I think, thank you for the book advice. Cindy says, what kind of green tea would you taste side by side with yellow? Mm. That's a great question. Great question, mm, okay, mm, really mm. great question. And uh, here, I just need a moment to think, to organize my thought. Right. It depends on what kind of yellow tea you're tasting. <laughs> What? Josh says he cannot. I'm going to give you some time okay. to think and talk about Josh who cannot see the comments through his tears because I is teasing him. And Fernanda is like, oh, haha. -ha. Thanks, Fernanda. Eden O'Brien says, new here. Do you guys do this stream on a schedule? Loving your channel and hoping to tune in to future streams. Yes, Sunday Tea Book. Every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. We're always here. Um, and on Thursday, uh, it's not as scheduled, but every now and then on a Thursday, we might do something bonus. This coming Thursday at 7, I think I said 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll try to post it once we get that. Yeah, I'll do a post, but it's already scheduled, I think. I'm no. not even sure. Oh, it's not. Mm. Did you schedule it? I thought I did. Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> am I not? A, this Thursday at 7 p.m., 
I'm going to do uh, my thing. So, but every Sunday at 1 p.m. is Sunday Tea Book, yes. uh, which is uh, which is you know what we're doing now. Mm. And Cindy says, "What time on Thursday?" I answered that time signature. Holy awkwardness! That was awkward. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy awkwardness! That was awkward. Right. All right. Back to your which green tea would be good to pair with yellow tea? Mm. Mm. So I think the question is. Uh, first is uh, what yellow tea you are drinking, mm. then match similarly. As mentioned, uh, did I mention that? Probably, I don't know. <laughs> so ye uh, yellow tea comes from the pan-fired uh, green tea. So mm. you want to choose a more pan-fired right, right. uh, green tea to match with the yellow tea you have. Say uh, if you are having, um, and also the great, if you are having a Huang Da Cha, which is uh, uh, one bud with two to three leaves mm. or even one to two leaves, then pick the similar grade of green tea. Right. Or you are having something a, a little more robust, right? Robust, right. yeah, similar. Then you can taste the difference. Or mm. if you are having, uh, say, uh, Huang Ya Cha, like a Meng Ding Huang Ya, one bud, one to two leaf, early plucking, then you probably want to find something similar grade, one bud, one to two leaf, early plug green tea, pan fired right. green right. tea. Uh, and of course, you can also want to go fun and compare uh, what? Fun. Like it's, <laughs> sometimes it's fun to mix up the pairings. Right. right? I mean, like uh, you can also compare the origin differences like mm -hmm. uh, say yellow tea a lot of yellow tea region also pr produce a uh, green tea mm -hmm. like uh, Mong Ding Huang Ya you can try Mong Ding Gan Lu mm -hmm. that's a uh, green tea I was going to mention that right mm -hmm. but even though they're slightly different grade but it's also very important you might find the similarity in those uh, cultivars mm -hmm. those regions but of course so no matter what we taste there's always a producer they're different mm -hmm. style mm -hmm. different but it uh, yeah, I think those are guidelines. I think that was really good. So basically, try to match up the uh, sort mm. of the style of the of the pluck and the style of the uh, making if you can. Mm. And uh, I think in general, to generalize, uh, mm -hmm. if you can learn as much about each tea and try to dial try to dial down the differences mm -hmm. until you get it just if you can get it to just process, that would be ideal. Yeah. But um, you know, that's sort of the idea. So this is the liquor. You can see if you were uh, more oh. Throwing down the brew can. That is focus, 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 focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, focus. <laughs> We're doing the focus song. Okay. It doesn't focus. But, but anyway, you can see you the can color. You can see the color. It's, it's those a light go golden color. Mm. You know, if really you pretty. just oh, look at that for somebody who some just. Fuzz in it. Uh, yeah. Just put my hand in there. There we go. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Nice job. Yeah, it's still it's still searching and searching, but we, I think it's got it. Liquor is really beautiful. Hard. Yeah, liquor is tricky to focus, but so, we we go the extra mile for you guys. <laughs> so nice. for people who maybe just get into tea, it's not hard to. T if I just give you this, it might be oh poor, or could be shen poor, or it could be some mm. green tea. You never know. Mm. But with a little bit more, like uh, if you are more familiar with the yellow tea, they have a tinge of it, gold that is. Uh, how should I say closer to poor than green tea? Why? Because poor also have insufficient kill grain. Right. They have many similarity there. Right, mm. right. Interesting. Wow. All right, I'm gonna dive back over to the book, guys. Mm. Keep those comments coming, keep the questions coming. No question is a bad question, okay? We're all here to learn. Um, if uh, you know any any comment works for us. And I love having all this back and forth. It really makes these uh, lives like so much fun. Mm -hmm. So um, here we were, uh, we did first sight. So a unique way to produce tea. Let me scroll down so you guys can see that. Beautiful. It is similar to produce yellow tea and green tea. The only difference is that yellow tea requires a, pr a procedure to color it yellow. <laughs> Within this procedure, kind of said everything the opposite of what we just said. Within this procedure, an able yellow tea has a feature of yellow soup and yellow leaves. While drinking it is not as cold as green tea. Mm. Okay, and I'll just finish up the section. Yeah. Carefully watching. The soup of yellow tea is bright and yellow green, as we just saw. The charming fragrance. Yellow tea tastes mellow, sweet and pure. 
and full of fragrance. All right, unpacking time. All right, unique way. So similar to green tea, we I think we kind of went into depth on that. And mm. when and when you hear something like the only difference is that it requires something to make its color yellow. There's no food coloring. Like it sounds really like that. If you were just reading this book by yourself and we hadn't just had a big discussion about how actually different the whole process is right from the start all the way to the end, mm. this makes it feel like it is indeed exactly what I said. You just do step one, two, and when you get to the yellow, you decide, oh, am I gonna make green tea or am I gonna make yellow tea today? And you go, oh, I'll make yellow tea. No, that's not how it works. There's not. But there is a step to that does do the yellowing. That's not wrong. It's just not the only difference. Mm -hmm. It's an overgeneralization to say that. Um, and I think it's just a mistranslation why it came out sounding like that. Okay. And then I think this is also needs a little... I didn't read up. I don't know if that means the mic or anything. Oh, my voice is coming and going. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do about that. Thanks for the... Uh, Could be some conversation. Thanks for the tip. Could be that my neck is hitting this mic or something. I'll just try and, uh, or I'll speak into your mic. Yeah, I should. The well, mic seems the to be working. Okay, okay, well, well, hopefully you guys can make me out. Um, still hear me okay. At any rate, um, mm -hmm. the other thing I was gonna say that while drinking it is not as cold as green tea. It mm. sounds like, what are you having, iced tea or something? No, I think this is a TCN thing is my hunch. Yes. It's just because the kill green, it's not as like shampooar green tea, very cooling in the TCM context. Mm, Yellow tea mm. is probably still to the cold side, not as cold. Yeah. I think that's what they meant. But that could be also confusing to a person completely unfamiliar with the Chinese way of viewing tea. Right. So uh, start from the beginning, like you said, yellowing is not a, a coloring process. What it does is transform the leaf a little bit and the result, it has yellow liquor mm. and uh, yellow tea leaves. Mm. And uh, uh, like uh, in the first paragraph, we talk about how you accidentally got discovered because insufficient or off timing of a green tea process. And now throughout all these years, it has been locked down as a, pr a step, a process step called yellowing mm. to make that happen so yellowing basically it means it, it encourage a little bit of fermentation right okay? and uh another thing i found interesting is fermentation uh, sorry oxidation Oxi right. i just wanted to my clarify. bad yeah. my bad oxidation no it's okay because it is a it's a great it's great uh, it's great uh i don't want to get that mixed up mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um because we talk about a little bit of oxidation uh, and a black tea is fully oxidized, if we let the <laughs> yellow tea process go, will we get a black tea in right. the end? That's a great one. Uh, no, they're a different process. Right. Uh, just to re-emphasize what you mentioned, which is a very good point, that uh, even though we talk about the tea categorization with the level of oxidation, it's not if I just let yellow tea, which is slightly oxidized, mm to continue for a long time, it would become black tea or like mm. oolong, a partially oxidized tea, would that become a fully oxidized tea if I just let oolong tea oxidize there? It's right. not going to become black tea. They have totally different process. It's mm. just the end result by how much the leaf has transformed. This happened to be fully transformed. That's happened to uh, be partially transformed. Right. So this is the yellowing process and in different regions, they have different way of doing this. Yellowing is a very vague and uh, high level say right. they have this kind of step. Some people use the dry way to yellow. Some right. people use the uh, wetter leaf to yellow. Different regions, different mm -hmm. people do that differently. And right. um, if and uh, this difference starts from the beginning, isn't not like a producer says, I'm making green tea and this all kind of a failed and can I just let it oxidize and become yellow tea? It will become a failed yellow tea. So there's almost no point unless they can manage to sell that to people who don't really understand mm. what's going on. Otherwise, there's no point. So when they do yellow tea, they have to start it differently. Yeah. Speak. Even though the steps to us on paper, it look the same. They right. all kill green, then yellow. Right. 
but this kale green is different than green tea's kale green. Right. Yeah. Right. Good. And I think that covers that section. The uh, the carefully watching and the charming fragrance. I think those were mm. both just perfect. Just a right. little a little highlight about what to expect from the soup color, the the liquor color, as we like to say, mm -hmm. and sort of a high level tasting note. Um, and that brings us down to. The basic classification of yellow tea. So this is yeah. back to our three basic types, right? Yellow bud tea, huang uh, ya cha, uh, yellow big tea, huang da cha, and yellow small tea, huang xiao cha. And it's got a bunch of examples of specific teas. Um, we mentioned meng di, meng ding huang ya. So meng ding huang ya, yellow bud, literally. Uh, mm -hmm. Huo Shan Huang Ya, mm -hmm. uh, Jun Shan uh, Yin Shen, Yin Jen, so mm -hmm. Jun Shan Silver Needle. So it, you'll, if you if you're a white tea lover or just been around tea a while, you'll recognize a lot of those, mm. you know, Silver Needle from uh, Bai Hao Yin Jen to Yun Shan Yin Jen. Um, um, yeah, so I don't think I need to read the whole section. Mm -hmm. um, where is ours? There was another one here though that was kind of fun. Oh no, Meng Ding was there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then in the identi did you want to go up? Uh, this, the two, exactly what we have here. Guangdong Big Leaf Tea, Da Ye Qing. Oh, Da Ye Qing. Oh, yes, yeah. That's I didn't what you're even looking recognize for. It. It's so, that's right. You're right. Yes, uh, Huo Shan Yellow Big Tea, Huo Shan Huang Da Cha, which is what we have. Uh, Huang Da Cha. In our, oh, on our oh. website, we just marked that as uh, Huang Da Cha. Right, but that's the from Huo Shan and Anhui. Yeah, from Anhui Huo Shan. Right, which it has a toastiness. A lot of people mm. love that because it's a very uh, obvious, uh, prominent, and a very uh, friendly tea tasting experience. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, we get people who come up and say, "Hey, look, I'm just getting into uh, tea, and I'm a big coffee drinker. I really like coffee. Uh, that's one of the teas I recommend because it's got a boldness, mm. like it's got an obvious flavor. It's not a super subtle." Uh, super high-end subtle green tea style right. it's really if you brew that as per our instructions you're going to uh, it's gonna grab you and really give you a big bold flavor mm. and uh, if you want to you know some people when they get started they like to brew the heck out of them just mm. to make them super bold and strong um, nothing wrong with that right mm -hmm. it's got plenty of uh, meat in it to go in that direction yes and there we go so we'll dive right into the uh, let's Check the comments actually. Let me pop over and do a quick comment check. Do 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 do. I'm getting used to my new setup. You're getting really good at switching scenes. All right. So um, Cindy says that thanks. That matching answer makes perfect sense how to match those um, ah, right. pairings. I love doing side by sides. Yeah. Yes. And I think I think it's a great thing to kind of get hooked on from the perspective of it is a super for me, the two best things you can do to sort of accelerate your time signature MMA was saying like how uh, you know it's tricky to taste and it is in the beginning I was so overwhelmed and the two things that helped me the I most I also had that too right we're I'm... side by side tasting and how to taste we've got a really good video on how to taste tea and I have to tell you it was uh, a game changer for me it seems silly to actually instruct step by step how to taste but, uh, but for those aromas and stuff, there's a few tips in that video that will absolutely change the game for you. So I'll put the link to that down below too. I'm taking notes here mm -hmm. like crazy because that's side by side, how to taste and take time to do both, obviously. Um, so do you know where I am? I'm lost. Uh, oh, Josh, quick. Any tea in the world. Tell right. me what to drink and I have to drink it if I have it. Hojicha. I don't know so why I thought of that. Hojicha. Yeah. I was going to say Dao Ting. Dao Ting or any yellow tea you have on hand. It's yellow tea day. Oh, right, right. <laughs> but you remind why? me of the Hojicha song. Because they were... Oh, right, right. Cause... I sing... Ho... Sometimes I use Hojicha because it's got such a musical... Sound. Sound to it. <laughs> it's just that they were talking in that, on Discord this morning, I think. Oh, right. The iced... Is that the ice one they brewed on ice? I don't think so. Oh yes, it was. I yeah. think it was. Yeah. They, yeah, that was cool. 
All right, something lightish if possible, not too heavy. I think I hit that with a, with any yellow tea or yeah. Dai Ching if you have it, any yellow tea if you don't. Mm. And if you don't have any yellow tea, <laughs> I don't know. What kind of game is this anyway if you don't have a yellow tea? No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Let me know how that works out, Josh. If you don't have a yellow tea, I will go to my backup, which I have already picked. Okay, I've already picked it. Um, time signature, it does look like some green teas I've had. Liquor? The liquor, liquor, I think. I think, yeah. 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 Your voice, Phil, is coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. Hopefully that's fixed. Hopefully, yeah. I did a little trick, though. Hopefully I didn't trick them too much. <laughs> uh, Cindy, to me, these later steeps remind me of a nice shen... Shen and green tea. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. I don't. Cindy, have you any really habits, have that no. that uh, how should I say that tasting thing that I uh, uh, that I really uh, appreciate because a lot of times people stuck on uh, like a tasting elements and profiles, right. which I, I, as you all know, I am not good at uh, describing those. Right. But what I taste it like is... Like the blueberry or yeah, the, the Yeah, I taste of what it is, why, why mm. it's like that. Mm. And uh, what you mentioned might sound weird to, I don't know to who, but uh, to me that makes perfect sense because mm. uh, that element you taste similar is because of that uh, insufficient kill grain. Mm. Dark tea shen relies on later fermentation in the ears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yellow tea have that element. What? In the years, not in the oh. ears. No, it's okay. You said it right. I'm just. I, okay, okay. Let's just remind me because we have that discussion over and over about years and years. I cannot say or hear the difference between ears and, and years. And I can. I. I if, Okay, for years I didn't know which one did I say. I Nailed don't know. it. Okay, for years I didn't know. They are different pronunciations, and I cannot hear any. I'm gonna get in big different. trouble. They're gonna be like, they're gonna call me out for picking on you. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, I'm really no, sorry. No, no, no. That's good. It's just nobody ever told me. Like I, it cannot. I cannot improve at that point. I really. It's cannot. related. I'm gonna talk about oh, this for two more seconds. It started seconds with the east and east. Another thing. East that, and yeast. Why at the beginning? Absolutely no clue. Absolutely no clue. This sounds identical, mm. which makes me impossible to improve because I cannot tell the difference. But I have to tell you, to be fair to Jen, I have the exact same. This is totally related to Sunday Tea Book because it's related to language and confusion. Oh. And um, I have the same problem with some Chinese words. She says blah, and then she says blah. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Those are the same. And she's like, how can you think those are the same? And it's just how our ears and our brains are trained yes. over the decades. And certain sounds we don't have and blah, blah, blah. So it is actually related to Sunday Tea Book. I'm glad, you, I'm glad we brought it up. I'm glad we spent a moment <laughs> so on it. So if you notice I randomly speak that, you just put that in context mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. figure that out. <laughs> I do have a yellow tea. Some of your Huang Da Cha. Bam! Oh, oh. Nice. All right. oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And then he ran goes, out. I think this. Oh. I actually ran out of your Hongra Cha, so no yellow tea at home at the moment. Fondly remembering when I could go out and actually buy tea in person. Yeah. Yep. All right. Ah. I don't want to get down that rat hole, but yeah. So my backup plan was uh, Jungping Shui Xian. <laughs> Almost as obscure. Right. So you got to pick some easy ones. Oh. Uh, or any oolong. There, that's pretty easy, right? Yeah. No, any light, light oolong. oolong. Yeah, mm. let's constrain it to the lighter side. Nice. Pref anyway, back to Cindy. I just want to say that's mm. really, uh, what you taste is really bang on. And mm. that's why the taste uh, has that uh, similarity there. And the importance of tasting tea beginning to the end. Tea changes and mm. tells you different information. If we just uh, sip the first sip, sometimes you might not feel like they taste like a shrimp. That's right. a shen element there. Right, especially that, that sort of pastry yes. and sweet and floral. Would be more prominent. It's definitely yeah, popping yes. out now. Yeah. I just found a wudong chou chao shi dan chong, which I've never actually tried before. Unopened. Should I try that? Yes. Nice one. Yes. Mm. Try it. Just do it. If you didn't already take my backup, which we've since, we're getting caught in a bit of a lag circle here. <laughs> I tried to buy some Junkie Grey Sen from you, but you were sold out. Yeah, sorry, happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I love oh, this emoji. Right, he was really grouchy. Um, the little grouchy emoji. All right, let's head over to the ID of yellow tea. We're gonna mm -hmm. have a, a with sound effect transition right now. Nice. All right. Oh, I already got a cute up. Look at that. Mm. My on the ball. All right, folks. The identification of yellow tea. High quality of yellow tea. Dry tea. Golden color or yellow green. Tender yellow and tips can be seen. Tea soup, bright and yellow green. Bottom of leaf, tender yellow and well proportioned. Inferior yellow tea. Dry tea. Dark and light. Tight tips cannot be seen. Tea soup, yellow green, not clear. Bottom of leaf, dark and brightless. Uh, oh, yo. All right, so I'm gonna do that part and then we'll do the bottom, which I totally forgot to read, but we'll do it fully live. Mm -hmm. All right, so the high quality yellow tea is, we gotta come back to, so that what they're doing here is telling you what to look for in a high quality tea, in the dry leaf, in the tea soup or the liquor, and in the bottom of leaf, which is the brood leaf. Um, so golden color or yellow green, tender yellow. Um, so a, a sort of subtle yellow is what I think they mean, not like tender. And tips is not tips. Tips is actually an English tea word that means uh, buds. I think she means fuzz. fuzz Last fuzz. time she meant fuzz. Yes. So is it still like that? Yeah, yeah. so it's fuzz. So if you're following along in the uh, finished translation, the link's down below, you'll see that we translate that fuzz. It is not... Yes, you may see buds, that is a fact, mm -hmm. but in this one, it's supposed to be emphasizing the fuzz should be seen, which again, I pointed out even on this Wang Da Cha, mm -hmm. in those close-ups of the tea video, we could see the, the lustrous and some of them were still fuzzy, so pretty. Mm. Take a good look at your dry leaf, guys. It's really exciting. All right, tea soup, bright and yellow green. Okay, great. There's yeah, something this is floral. really nice. You're right, really nice floral. Mm. And the brood leaf is tender yellow and well proportioned, which I think means about even size, like yeah, uniform, right, uh, uniform looking, yeah, uh, general sort good of good plucking, tea, basically good plucking, yeah, general tea thing. On the inferior side, we have um, dry leaf, dark and light, so inconsistent coloration of the dry leaf. Is, Not I dark think, and light, just dull. that's what it says here. Yeah, I think she means inconsistent color, just dull. Not oh, uh, inconsistent. Yeah. Okay, so this is something. Oh, and again, I mentioned that when we were looking at the dry, the little tea movie I had made, when we were looking at this diet, saying the more you look at dry leaf, the more you'll start to appreciate when they're lustrous and when they're not. It's a tricky thing to describe to somebody mm. else, but if you just see it and put them there, you can see when they're dull and when they're somehow silky yes. and lustrous, yes. right? So this is what she means by dark and light here. Mm. And not much fuzz or no fuzz. Mm -hmm. um, tea soup, uh, yellow green, not clear. Now mm -hmm. this doesn't mean what it says in English. I think again, clear a soup. The first, the good one has fuzz, which means the liquor will have some fuzz flowing around in it. Oh. I think what she means is more is on the murky side, like, murky, like, cloudy, like uh, we've talked about this yes, before, right? Yes. So liquor can be full of fuzz yet still be bright and brilliant. Yes. The liquor itself, in between the little particles of fuzz, yeah. will have that dazzling brilliance. It won't have a murky quality. Mm. Um, we mentioned it with dark tea, with especially with certain shupuars that can be very muddy, mm. not good, or mm. really brilliant, even though they're quite dark red. Um, so with this tea, we're looking for that gold and bright liquor. Again, you've got to look at the liquor you brew, mm. pay attention to it. You'll get used to that. And yeah dark and brightless so again the brood leaf lacks uh sort of lacks resilience in life i think you the way you describe it sometimes is like when the brood leaf kind of comes back to the life yeah it, it really shows mm. the old original like the the the, the living the <laughs> the past life before it was plucked and dried it really come back to life we think Right. Like a, in terms mm. of the look, it looks mm -hmm. more like fresh leaves rather than the dried stuff. Right. Mm. Right. So shall I finish down below and then we'll hit the comments and, yeah. and, and roll it. on out? Yeah. All right, great. So let me, oh, I think you guys can read that. So how does the leaves of yellow tea become yellow? It is the result of piling to be yellow. The workmanship of yellow tea is like green tea, 
but to add a procedure of piling to be yellow. Some may be done before rolling, some may after rolling, some may after drying, and some may be done while re-drying. Wow. Okay. So when she used the word piling, it reminded me how you said fermented in the beginning. So this is an interesting one. And in Mungding, we saw them roll that up in a ball, right? They put that in a kind of in a, in a moist blanket kind of thing. Not a blanket, but a sheet, right? Is that, that was Mungding? No, uh, Mungding, they use a paper, a unique paper, a paper that right, right. has a desired... Uh, uh, permeability, yeah. Breathe, yeah. So it, it breathes at a certain yes. rate. So this mm. piling thing, sometimes it, it kind of uh, the way I was uh, smiling because it's uh, trans. Uh, in terms of the translation, you know, the tea translation is very free. Tea Chinese tea terms are fixed, but the translation can be uh, zigzag. If you are familiar with shupua, maybe <laughs> doctor. T Q and A. T Q and A. I forgot yes. to sing the song. Yes. Sorry, Cindy pointed it out. Yes. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, I mean, piling. Sometimes it was think about the shupuar and that fermentation. Mm. My mistake by itself was a pure mistake because there is no mm. fermentation when we talk about the yellow tea. But here again appear this piling. That's why you would link my previous mistake with this one. Right. Right. It's, uh, I think, fundamentally... Because it's... it needs uh, some... Because it's a yellowing process, you need a, a quantity of together so that the water doesn't lose quick mm. enough. So you need a... Same with almost any tea um, oxidation process with oolong. Right, but we right. don't call that piling because we, how, we translate that as uh, either... Uh, oxidation or certain mm. it's the translation that make that as if there's any similarities but in Chinese right. there's uh, not much similarity right on okay yeah. and again the, I think the workmanship of yellow tea is like green tea basically they're similar in yeah. in their processing mm -hmm. but we have this uh, this step this yellowing step which is mm -hmm. this sort of wrapping up or gathering the tea and letting it sit for a moment yeah, at a certain point, uh, we use yellowing because I feel like it's, uh, if people don't know tea, they hear that it, it doesn't mean anything, which is ideal. I'm, I don't, I <laughs> no, mean, you're right. I, I need to you explain that. Funny. It's not yeah. a something, because if you say piling or like uh, some people, if I say rolling, it's an existing English mm, word. Exactly. People think they know rolling, of course, that then that's why you call it rolling, but that's not quite true mm -hmm. when it comes to mm -hmm. tea process. So those unknown words, I think, is ideal yes. to use. Yeah, it's just an abstract, and the point is, is, it's just a basic abstraction to kind of help you realize it's a different process. But mm. I think the layer two is the whole process is different. Yeah. And, I think and later on, it mentions about exactly how the step is, do, is done has really so depends. different yeah. ways. And it depends yeah. where it's Before made rolling, and stuff. Yeah. after rolling, basically all over the place. It's just a whole, whole different styles of yellow mm -hmm. tea mm -hmm. going on there. So that is the um, that is the tea book for today. Let's go back to comments and see what folks are asking, saying, and see if I got in any trouble over here. Why would the, you get in trouble? Oh, because I mean, I was uh, picking on you a little bit, and really? yeah, they really are. They really defend you. Mm. Yeah, yeast and yeast, year and year. Oh, that's not picking on me. I know. I tried to buy some. Okay. And then uh, it's my favorite emoji for feigning outrage. Oh, that really, it yeah, is like pretty that. fun. It's a really cute one. Make me want to have Sichuan food. <laughs> right? That's what it, I it am. It looks like, like Sichuan a... mask, yeah. right? I think it might be. And also that after hot and spicy, that's it's my favorite. super red, right? Yes. Fernanda uh, says, oh, angry tea head without tea. Run, everyone. Run for your lives. <laughs> Time Signature MMA says, it's interesting that taste is not mentioned. Mm, I think it's oh. on the book talking about the taste. Right, in the um, last little bits there. Mm. For how to identify. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. It's very... Um, That's a good point. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed it. Throughout the whole book, in terms of the taste, it's also very vague. 
Mm-hmm. Like that's just a, I guess that's just a how we describe the like we don't do taste notes as much. We might point out some highlights, right. but taste is not. A taste is a big thing, but it's not about a taste element. Like a, right. You know. Ta- yeah. Like when we talk about a praising tea, like everything's mm. in the taste, the, mm. and we go back and confirm. The, yeah, the soup confirms what I taste, the dry leaf, the brood leaf confirm what I taste. Mm. But you're right, we don't have elements. They have their, those, that's acquired by experience, I think. And right? also, it has its own ta- taste. We, mm-hmm. Because uh, the tea is um, like a daily essential kind of thing in China, lots of people drink tea and everything. What's the taste of tea? Tea. Right. You know, like people uh, ask me, like, uh, what does a we rock tea taste like? Uh, like a subconsciously, like it's a good one raw tea. Like raw you tea. you gotta try it. You know, yeah. just like I often say, like, a, uh, you know, never afraid to describe your tasting notes because tasting notes is not about right and wrong. Mm. It's not uh, somebody have come up with a super fancy like a novel like a <laughs> right some super fancy thing, and you were like, oh, oh, I taste this uh, tea, fine. Yeah. What's wrong with that? You know what I mean? Yeah. So you really have to learn what it tastes like to really understand it. Just like apple, it's hard to describe what apple right. tastes like. It's just because everybody knows it. So in terms of a, a lot of a Chinese tea descriptions, even with tasting notes, it's very brief. Or it has some element of a floral. Mm-hmm. It has a little mm-hmm. bit of fruity. It's a, a lot of times we focus on mouthfeel. Right? Is that thick? Is that rich? Is that smooth? Or stuff. Yeah. That in terms of the taste itself, this is what jasmine green tea tastes like. Mm-hmm. Within this range, then we talk about a little difference. Mouthfeel is a really uh, mm. another one that you might have trouble wrapping your head around too. Um, like well, like time signature was mentioning earlier, that is, tr- you know, with tricky and how I felt in the early times, you would say, oh, this is really thick, or oh, this one's so thin, or or empty even. And I think, again, it comes right back to side-by-side tasting is a great way to start and pick up on those and just mm. taste lots and take the time to taste, you know. Um, it's okay if you're thirsty to every now and then chug your tea, but if you want to start and notice those subtle hints, take some time and kind of analyze what's happening in your mouth and you'll start to notice those things. They are mm. very real. All right, so um, Josh says, awesome call on the light oolong, just the heated dry leaf smell, my favorite part, and I already know it's the perfect tea for today's semi-overcast weather here. Awesome. Nice. By brightless, perhaps does a translator mean more like matte than fresh and glossy? Mm, possible for the wet, for the brood leaf. Right, right, right. Mm, possible. And Cindy made me sing the Dr. T Q&A song, which I love. <laughs> And this is really helping me understand yellow tea. I've read the steps before, but didn't truly understand what the steps meant. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm glad that helped, Cindy. That's awesome. Um, Josh says, mmm, delicious. I imagine it tastes much like Changbing Shui Xian because of the very green side of oolong processing. I should have mumbled. Sorry, guys. It tastes just like Changbing Shui Xian because of the very green side of oolong processing of the dancing of the Dan Song varietal. He got spell checked. And I would know if I could have tried some. Mm. Aha, right. And then yeah. more, more outrage. But yeah, that definitely didn't definitely didn't want to buy some Imperial version from someone else. Ha. Huh? Good call. And Time Danger says, I think that the translation should be more consistent in its use of terms and mm. that a glossary of terms should be added as an appendix or something. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of that's one of the benefits good. of uh, the Finnish translation is we kind of, uh, I think, baseline our terminology mm-hmm. and try to stick with it throughout. Mm-hmm. Um, taste as an indicator of quality. Time signature. I must say that those personal tasting notes are really fascinating when people describe them. Some of them are almost poetic. Yes. Yes. Oh boy. I, I love reading those. I on, just uh, never understand. Yes. Some some of the folks on our Discord are just beautiful descriptions yeah, I just want of to tea. Read it. Like yeah. Uh, yeah, just reading it is a joy, and I, then I want to sip the tea immediately. Thanks for a great session. All right. You're welcome, Cindy. You are welcome, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. That wraps up episode thirty of Sunday Tea Book. Book. Next week, I'll just I'll just head back to the uh, to the to the book and show you what's coming up next week because we do have 
Uh, we're not done yet, folks. We got a few more. So we're going to dive into some of the LOTs that we've been talking about. Uh, Junshan Mountain Silver Needle is coming up. Also, we've got uh, Hoshan Mountain Yellow Bud and a few others. Mm. Uh, tune in to see all of what we're doing next week. We've got another session of Yellow Tea. And then it's into... Uh, Stay white with tea. us. Well, white tea, right, right. <laughs> I need a moment too. <laughs> right on. White tea. This Thursday, I'm going to talk about um, my experience coming from no tea knowledge uh, five or six years ago to a little bit more tea knowledge where I am today and still, still learning rapidly from Jen and Jen's mom and from hanging out with you guys. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Keep stay tuned on our socials. If you if you got value out of this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That super super helps out the channel. Mm -hmm. um, click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever we go live on Thursday at seven p.m. I think is when I'm going to do it. But stay tuned on social and let you know for sure for my little fun tea session. That's just going to be a light and fluffy uh, time with me. Next week we're back with more yellow tea. Yep. Guys, until next time. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend and keep, keep steeping. steeping.